the bank stocks are moving up pretty nicely here, so I'm not too jumpy to long on, you know, just the FRC down as much as it is. Not down enough percentage-wise to look for the dead cat balance in my eye, but maybe towards 1030, I'll be more open to that. It's just pumping up without me. Right now, CXAI, honestly, is just a really good setup if it could re-break nine. Or if it can come back down to 865 and test that as support, then I could see a potential trade from there. Alex, in from 47? Cool. I would take half. I would have already, but we'll see if it could hold over my 865, because if so, then I'm going to try and jump in as it just did right there. Let's see if it can make this move, though. It's got a pop right now. Make the better pop, Alex. Let's see it. You got the VWAP right there at 871. You got the opening print at 864. I'll be transparent. The opening print is really not that big for this for this one. So if it's got it, if it's gonna do it, it's gotta do it right from here. So far, not bad. Little kip up for about 12 cents. We need a fast move though, so I'm expecting a nice reaction. If we get it, then cool. If not, then just we gotta have our T's crossed. See Alex, now we can set stops. <laughs> All right. There we go away. Nice catch. I'll talk to you later on as well. Let's get this push. Come on, CXAI. This is exactly what we wanted to have happen. Now it broke over nine, so this is really in good shape. I, I'm hanging on for right now. I got my stop set. Now at this point, if it drops, it'll take me out with like eight or ten cents profit, and that's still I'm content. I would stink to lose out on a lot of unrealized profit here, but you don't want to be on the wrong side of the trade. So as long as it could remain over nine, we're in pretty good shape. Pretty good shape. It's been a roller coaster morning, though, I will say. Took half out just right here at 926. Actually, I didn't mean to even get filled there. I'll take that, though. Uh, 926, I got filled half out at. Oh, pop. Let's see what happens, though. If you ever ask, like, oh, don't you wish you still held on to those shares? I, at first, could not care any less because I've already made some good money on the morning. So just we don't need to be uh, greedy and spoiled. So, you know, it's shoulda, coulda, woulda. We just got to get that out of our heads. Now, if this pumps up to like 12 bucks and I still have half my shares, I'll be very content. But yeah, the more it pumps, of course, you say, ah, oh, if I only hold on. But at first, no, it's like, all right, I still got half my pot left. I feel very happy. Entry at 867. Now, I don't want to be stuck in a down hole. So if this collapses here, then you just got to have your finger on the trigger. I was stuck in a down hole yesterday on the last third of my position. I forgot the ticker even. I think it was Acon, if I'm not mistaken. That was a nightmare of a stock. It actually worked out really well, but I don't really walk into my days hoping to like rip my hair off my head by 10 o'clock in the morning. You know what I mean? Open up my platform at 7.30. I, I don't really have that as my main intent. So I'm very happy with how CXAI has been working out. I would assume next major resistance would be off that 10 level. 
Mm, yeah, good time to get out, actually, just to take the money. I will get out right here at 9.75 I clocked out at. So Chuck and Alex getting out, and they kind of uh, made me quickly internally realize, like, eh, let's just get out. Let's join the guys right there and get out. There we go. Chuck with the clean exit under 10 bucks. Cal, that was a beauty from Cal, a beauty from Sid, from Mike on EYPT. I will say you got to join the crowd at least on the CXAI, though, of all things. Barbara in and out for 60 cents. There you go. What I can comment on to new members is, hey, we don't mention share size, right? You know, one member might have a smaller account than another, and one member and working on half a mil. Who knows? So let's say on 500 shares even. That 60 cents equates to a $300 profit in, in that regard. If it was 1,000 shares, it's $600 profit. So we like posting like how many cents we made. You know, that, that's really helpful. And, and, and the entry and the exit, that helps us study. So even if that was 100 shares, that's still just a beautiful trade from Barbara and any one of us. I'm a Cyber Group member today. Just click the link below and receive all these amazing products and a world of knowledge for just $9. Do it today.